So for this video, uh, I'm doing the Lady Gaga at the 2015 Oscars um, inspired look. First, I'm just applying the NYX, um, this is an eyeshadow base, but it's a white shadow base. You can use the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk instead. Um, I couldn't find that one, so I'm just using this one. But I'm just laying down this, shad uh, this eye base. Um, sort of on top of a primer. Oh, and I forgot that I used the uh, Urban Decay Anti-Aging Primer Potion first before these, this white base. So the white base will just assure the color that goes on later will be very vivid and bright. And also this base is a, t a little bit tacky so it will grab onto the loose pigments that I'm using now. A little bit better. So I'm using the Glamour Doll Eyes pigment or loose eyeshadow in Avant Garde. Uh, it's a really beautiful kind of um, pinky lilac mauve type of color with a little bit um, like a bluish dual chrome effect, but it's just really really subtle. So the thing with this look is that I actually created this look on the day of the Oscar without even knowing that Lady Gaga wore something very similar to this look. Um, I based off this look um, on a Scarlett Johansson's look back in 2002 or 2004. Um, I saw an old post, an old picture of her attending her award and she wore something like this. So I decided to do an inspired look based off that look, but it just so happened that Lady Gaga wore something quite similar. I'm not sure that she's wearing anything that's like pinky tone on the lid, but um, that's just what I did. You don't have to do that. But I'm just laying down that shadow and then on top of it to, um, for the transition color, I use a soft kind of um, peachy uh, beige color or maybe got like light brown if you have. Um, just something to define the crease a little bit and warm up um, that sh you know that pinky shade because sometimes the pink can look a little bit um, sick looking so adding a little bit of warmth to it will make the eyes a little bit better and then also that soft light brown would just act, act as in the transition color and then now I'm using this Tokidoki eyeliner pencil it's sort of like a pink glittery uh, eye pencil um, because I think that Lady Gaga also has something like a pink glittery shade a liner uh, in her eyes so maybe she you has a like all over shadow but um, yeah that's what I did on the top of the eye and then on the lower waterline I add um, Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in Lucky which is a warm um, coppery shade it's like a metallic coppery shade Again, I did this because I based this look off of a, an old Scarlett Johansson uh, picture. Of course, that I don't think Lady Gaga was wearing this color on the lower waterline. So you can again, you can strike this out and you can just leave it bottom uh, eyes bare, or you can just smudge a little bit of light brown eyeshadow on the lower lash line um, to give a little bit more of a depth. And then after that, I just apply um, several coats of um, Buxom Lash Mascara on top and lower lashes. Um, you know, for the Scarlett Johansson picture, um, she wasn't wearing any false lashes. That's why I didn't apply any false lashes for this particular look. But I know that Lady Gaga was definitely wearing um, a pair of false eyelashes or maybe even two pairs of false eyelashes on the top um, lash line. So again, um, I skipped that part, but if you want to recreate the exact same thing that she had for this year's Oscar, I recommend you applying a set of like pretty full and thick um, lashes, like false lashes on the top lash line to give your eyes a little bit more drama. And now I'm just... Um, um, lightly filling my eyebrow uh, with a Maybelline eye eyebrow pencil and this is in light medium. Um, I think Gaga's eyebrow was also quite 
um, softly defined, not too like harsh, not over the top dramatic, but just really nicely groomed. And then I just um, kept all my eyebrow hair in place with the L'Oreal um, Brow Gel Mascara. And this one's light to medium, but it has a sort of um, a metallic, golden metallic tint to it, which I think is very nice for like platinum blonde or blonde hair if you have that. Um, I have sort of like a coppery auburn hair right now, so it kind of works for me. Um, but anyways, so yeah, um, this ni this one is pretty nice. I like it so far. Um, it just adds a bit of a dimension to the brow since it has a little bit metallic uh, shimmer to it. And now I'm just uh, sort of just lightly contouring and warming up my complexion with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer with an um, with a real okay that's my cat um, Mr Miyagi in the background sorry. Uh, what I'm trying to say is that I'm actually using the Real Techniques Dual Fiber Brush from the NYX PIX um, brush set. Uh, it just gives a really nice soft um, wash of color. Okay, um, and uh, yeah, basically just <laughs> applying this underneath, um, sculpting out the cheekbones, you know, the drill, um, just warming up the complexion. And then I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Cheek to Chic Blush. I really like this blush ever since I got it, um, but since it's so expensive, I don't use it so often. Anyway, this is called First Love, I think, and I'm just using the Real Techniques Multitask Brush. It's pretty soft. I'm just applying, using the techniques, basically you do the swirl and then you tap in the middle for that pop of like pink. I'm just lightly apply this uh, over the apples of my cheeks and kind of, you know, brush it blend it backwards toward the hairline and it gives a really nice um, you know really nice wash of soft well pink and for my lips I'm first outline my entire lips with um, a waterproof uh, lip pencil in the shade rose the reason why I did this is because I think it just get, creates a little softer effect um, since the lip color is in a bold red, um, I don't know, I just, I don't know why I did this. I didn't have any reference to it. I just decided to use rose one because I thought that it's kind of close to my lip color. Well, not close to my lip color. It's like a natural, well, anyways. I just use it because I thought it would work. And it's waterproof, so it will prevent um, the you know, lip color from feathering. And now I'm just using this liquid lipstick from Shiseido. I got this as a sample size a long time ago. It's basically like a really glossy type of like a blue-based red lip liquid lipstick. I forgot the name of it. I think it's Rouge or Rouge some something with a number. I'll put everything in the information bar, a list of all the products. So yeah, um, and then I just kind of went over the lip shape or lip line, clean up the edges with a lip brush um, to kind of redefine and clean up the edges. I didn't really use a concealer to clean up the edges. Um, I think this works just fine because I used that waterproof lip liner earlier. So this completes the finished look and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.